Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to use one of the best and most popular VPNs out there, ExpressVPN. Now whether you just got yourself an ExpressVPN subscription and you want to learn how to use it, or if you want to see how it works before you commit to a subscription, this video is going to cover pretty much everything you need to know about Express and hopefully help you make a more informed decision on whether or not it's the right VPN for you. And of course, if you want to check out ExpressVPN for yourself, I'll be leaving all the useful links, including a special discount, in the description down below. Now using ExpressVPN is as simple as pressing this on button over here, which would connect you to the recommended server that Express has set by default based on factors like your distance from the server and connection connection speed. And if you want to disconnect, just press this button again, and that's about it. It's a very simple and intuitive interface. You can also choose which server you want to connect to by pressing options and clicking on locations. And here, it'll show you the recommended servers, as well as all the server locations in the tab right next to it. And if you press this star right here next to the VPN, you'll save this VPN server in your favorites list so you can easily access it later on. And so as you can see, it's pretty much plug and play with no complications whatsoever. All right, now I know most of you guys use a VPN so that you can access streaming services not available in your country. Personally, I use Express to access US Netflix. So I know the struggle of not having your favorite shows available in your region from the get go. And so let me show you how to access those streaming services. Let's assume that you wanna watch a show that's only available on Netflix UK. All you need to do is open up Express Express VPN, go to all locations, type UK in the search bar, and click on the United Kingdom. As you can see here, it literally takes less than a second to connect, and that's actually one of the things I like the most about Express, since most VPNs usually take around 4-5 to five seconds to connect to the VPN server. Alright, now that I'm connected to the VPN server, if I want to verify that the connection did work out, I can go to any IP finder, and as you can see, it'll show that I have a UK based IP address. Now once you connect to the server, give Netflix a quick refresh, and you'll then gain access to whatever library you're trying to stream from. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now one more thing I want to mention with regards to streaming is that ExpressVPN is the best VPN you can get for, well, just that. And that's because they keep optimizing their servers to access streaming services. And they also have the largest country count, standing at over 3,000 servers in 105 countries. And generally speaking, more countries would give you access to more content globally. Oh, and by the way, this is not limited to streaming services, as you can access pretty much any type of content that's not available to you, be it video games, websites, blogs, online stores, banking services, and so on and so forth. You just have to connect to a VPN server in the same country, and that's about it. Now, when it comes to gaming, you can actually use ExpressVPN to fix your lag issues avoid skill-based matchmaking, and even play with friends on other servers. All you need to do is connect to the right server. Now, if you want to specifically fix your ping, there are a couple of things you should do. First of all, you're going to need to locate your game server and connect to the VPN server that's closest to it. This way, you can have a direct route to the gaming server, which can lower your overall ping. And since a VPN encrypts your data and hides your activity, your ISP will no longer be able to throttle your connection every time they see you gaming. And second of all, to ensure you have the best possible ping, I recommend you set your Express VPN protocol to lightweight UDP, since it's Express's fastest performing protocol. And that's basically how you can use ExpressVPN to lower your ping and improve your gaming experience. Now as far as torrenting goes, there's not much to talk about here. All of ExpressVPN servers are optimized for torrenting as well, and there are no bandwidth limitations, so you can torrent to your heart's content. Alright, now let's talk about the main use of VPNs, which is protecting your privacy. Basically speaking, once you connect to a VPN server, all your data would be routed through an encrypted tunnel, preventing anyone from snooping in on your data, be it your ISP, the government, or any malicious actors. And when it comes to privacy and security, ExpressVPN is, without a shadow of a doubt, the most secure and reliable VPN on the market. It has a strict no-logs policy, meaning that ExpressVPN would not collect or misuse any of your data, and since they operate on RAM-only servers instead of HDD servers, they can't physically store your information. Now, I would not recommend you trust any VPN's privacy policy if they don't have evidence to back up their claims. And in the case of ExpressVPN, it has plenty of evidence. Not only was it audited by several independent firms like Cure53 and KPMG, all of which confirmed ExpressVPN's commitment to their policies, but there was also a real-life incident back in 2017 where the Turkish government seized one of their servers as part of an ongoing investigation, only for them to find nothing on that server. This incident, by itself, proved that ExpressVPN is the most secure VPN on the market. Alright, now that I showed you how to stream, torrent, game, and protect your privacy with ExpressVPN, let's talk about a couple of really important features and settings that you should know about. First of all, you've got the kill switch, and this feature is going to immediately sever your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. And this feature is especially useful in censorship heavy countries such as China and Turkey, as you can rest assured that none of your activity will be accidentally leaked to your ISP or your government. One thing to add here since we mentioned China is that ExpressVPN is the only VPN out there that can be used in China reliably without any manual configuration whatsoever. You just need to download it and log in. 
and that's pretty much it. Now, if you go to the protocol section over here, you can choose which protocol you want your VPN to use. As I mentioned earlier, Lightweight UDP is the fastest protocol, so I recommend you set it to that, but you can also leave it on automatic, which should work fine as well. Another feature I wanted to mention is the recently added advanced protection feature, and what this does is it blocks your ads, trackers, and malicious sites. Plus, you can use this feature as a simple form of parental control by blocking adult sites. And lastly, you have the split tunneling feature. Now, this feature is not really popular among beginners, but once you get used to it, you'll see how helpful it can be. Personally, I use it a lot, and what it does is that you can choose which applications use the VPN and which ones stay outside the VPN tunnel. As you can see right here, it gives you three options. The first would set all apps to use the VPN. The second one allows you to exclude specific apps from the VPN tunnel, and the third would allow you to select the apps that use the VPN. All right, now that's pretty much everything you need to know about ExpressVPN to use it effectively. And if you want my personal opinion, ExpressVPN is pretty much the best VPN you can go for, as it's very reliable, fast, snappy when it comes to connecting and disconnecting, and it has the most countries out of all the VPNs I've tried so far. And on top of that, it's the only VPN that can be reliably used in China without any complicated manual configurations whatsoever. Now, in case you decide to go for an ExpressVPN subscription, I recommend you only go for the monthly plan if you're 100% sure you only need a VPN for a month. And that's because I've spoken with ExpressVPN, and they've said that most users get the monthly plan thinking they're going to use it for only one month, but they end up needing it more than that. So they keep resubscribing to the monthly plan, which has a much higher rate than the discounted six or 12 month plans. Now, as I said, if you know you're going to need ExpressVPN for one month, then by all means, get the monthly plan. But if you're going to need it for more than that, then getting the yearly plan would save you a lot of money. And if you click the discount link in the description, you get yourself three extra months on the yearly plan, which would save you more money in the long term. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos, and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.